Hello Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your love reading for February. And if you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you, Sagittarius, Sun, Woman, Rising. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm catching a cold, so forgive my voice. I'm trying to get all the readings done before I totally lose it. <laughs> Because it's definitely going. Okay, what's going on for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's going on for Sagittarius? Okay, we have You Are Perfectly Beautiful. So, Sagittarius, I feel like you're gaining confidence. <coughs> you also may have the need to forgive someone. There may be someone in your life that you need to forgive for some sort of situation. Um, maybe they said something to you or they, you know, um, <clears throat> there was some kind of argument or whatever. I feel like there's a need to forgive someone in your life for not being the person that you expected. Okay, what other messages do we have for Sagittarius? We have loneliness. So you could be alone at the moment. Uh, you may have spent a lot of time alone recently. I know that I am never alone. So Spirit wants you to know that that loneliness will not last. Um, that <clears throat> you're going to have more happiness, more, you know, more people in your life. We also have grief. What are you going through, Sagittarius? I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So, there may be some sort of situation that you've lost in the recent past. Um, <clears throat> it may be a relationship that has just ended or someone kind of leaving your life uh, in one way or another. But I feel like you're you're kind of grieving the situation. Maybe you're spending a lot of alone time. And you're trying to gain your confidence, your awareness. Sagittarius, <clears throat> I want to let you know that you have love. You have people around you who love and care for you. You are being supported through as you go through this. As you go through this time, you are being supported. Okay. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, and Rising. Messages for Sagittarius, February, and Love. Okay, we have Will of Fortune. So, I, I feel like things are changing for you, Sagittarius. You're going through these changes, and I feel like you weren't really prepared to go through the changes that are coming about. But I feel like these, these changes are a turning point. Whether you see it or not, I feel like these changes are meant to happen. They're meant to go through this process. Um, <clears throat> this is just a part of your life where I feel like you're, you're questioning, you know, why these changes are happening, why you're going down this path. You know, I feel like all of that is going to be revealed to you. Um, the reason why these changes had to happen. Very interesting, Sagittarius. We also have the Judgment card. Oh my gosh. So, Spirit is letting you know in a very strong way with the Wheel of Fortune, the Moon, and the Judgment card that you're going through this revelation. <clears throat> something, something is truly being opened for you. These changes were meant to happen for a reason and I feel like it's pushing you to this feeling of being rejuvenized, rebirth, uh, these feelings of finding exactly where you belong, um, finding your place in life, you know. We have the Ten of Pentacles, wow, okay. 
So I feel like, you know, you're going through these changes. There's something that had to come to an end. And I feel like you're going through this process. But these changes had to happen in order to create this bigger, this better thing. You're still able to find your happiness. You're finding solid ground to stand on. Um... I feel like, you know, with this Wheel of Fortune, the Moon, and the Judgment card, you may have been battling something with your health, uh, but I feel like good news is on the way. You finally got, you're finally receiving your recovery. You're finally receiving that information that you need, that good news, you know, and I feel like you're anxiously waiting for it. So I feel like whatever secrets, whatever mysteries were being hidden from you, I feel like that's all going to come to an end. All of these things are going to come to light. You're, you're having this ending to appreciate the new beginning that's coming around, you know. And I feel like it's, it's putting you in a totally different energy. Wow, okay. We have the the devil and the queen of pentacles. Okay, they wanted to come out together. So, so with this ending, I feel like this is you releasing something. Releasing something that's binding you, that was holding you back. Something that um, may have been negative energy. But I feel like you're releasing this. And I want to say you're releasing this loneliness, this grief. Um, and you're becoming more grounded, more balanced. You're finding your happiness, your purpose. Because we have the, the Ten of Pentacles right over the Queen of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like this is you becoming more resourceful. You're, you're pushing past those feelings of uh, losing something and you're actually focusing on <clears throat> the things that you are able to gain. The, the love, the happiness, the joy. And I feel like you're finding this confidence within yourself. You're finding this love, this self-love, this realization after something had to crumble something is bound to change you know something is turning you're hitting this revelation this huge revelation we have the ten, okay now we have three tens we have the ten of pentacles the ten of swords and the ten of wands and i feel like we had this in another reading as well you may want to take a look at I believe it was the Pisces reading. If you have any Pisces in your chart, uh, you may want to take a look at the Pisces reading because they had three tens as well. So th this is coming to a great realization. This is coming to a completion in your life and an, a, a beautiful new beginning. A, look at that. A beautiful new beginning. This is a new journey that you're following. Um... After these endings, you're recovering. You have recovery. You know, you're finding your balance. You're finding your place. You're setting off on a new journey. And I feel like it's a journey of discovery. Sagittarius, I feel like saying that you are discovering bigger possibilities. Um... You're coming into this awareness. Yes. And you have recovered from the situation. You're putting more time out for yourself. There's some kind of huge lesson that had to be learned in this situation so that you can move, so that you could hit this turning point, hit this good fortune, you know? Becoming more aware. 
but something happened that may have rocked your world but whatever that is you're recovering from that situation you're making a full recovery you're moving past the situation you're moving into a more calmness i'm really feeling kind of relief you know um this may have been a relationship that had ended and now you're moving into this new beginning i believe that's what this tower is signifying a separation something had to end something had to come to a completion something's over but it's in that in the shadow of that ending you have new journey new creation i feel like with this magician card sagittarius i feel like you're recreating yourself you're recreating your image your appearance um you're regaining your health your you whatever it is that you're manifesting into your life i feel like it, it's going to be something that's very significant and it's going to bring you a lot of success a lot of of lot, a lot of abundance this is good news coming in this is possibly news that you've been waiting for someone is is coming to offer you some kind of information that's going to bring you a lot of success what else do we have for Sagittarius yes the hangman you're gaining a new a new perspective after this alone time has ended you're you're seeing things in a totally different light you have the queen of wands at the bottom so and i feel like if this is a relationship that had to end if this is something that you had to walk away from something that caused you a lot of pain and a lot of grief in the past i feel like you're finding your your fire you're finding that spark uh sagittarius um i feel like after this separation you have more opportunity to focus on yourself to focus on what makes you happy what brings you abundance making a full recovery you know i feel like you know this is a process that you had to go through <clears throat> because whatever situation that you were in it wasn't your destiny it wasn't your destiny. Uh, the universe has something in store for you that's so much better. If this was a person that you were with, that they weren't your person. You know, I'm sorry. Um, and I'm sorry you're going through pain and grief. But this wasn't your person. Your person is on the way. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Yeah. I feel like, you know, the past, I, I feel like with the Six of Cups, I feel like this is like the past catching up to you. You know, this is someone that you may have been in a relationship in the past and it just didn't work out. But I feel like this is you kind of reviewing those memories, kind of living in the past situation. And I feel like that's something that you want to move away from. That's something that you want to let, you know, let the past lay in the past and focus on your future because your future looks very bright, Sagittarius. Yeah, look at this. Your future is very bright. You have the sun. So letting go of the past is going to bring way for the sun. I feel like you're shining very bright. You're laying down your burdens. You're letting this go. Now this is the this is the fourth ten that we've got in this in this reading. So I feel like you know this is definitely something that had to be completed. This is lessons that were learned in this situation, but it's opening you up to this new beginning this new beginning that's unfolding see what are the messages do we have for Sagittarius in love is there a person coming forward for Sagittarius please tell me about this person okay the three of wands 
I feel like if you're if you're speaking with a person, I feel like this is just the talking phase. This is just the beginning. Um, this is you expanding your horizons, maybe getting out there and socializing more so that you know you're putting yourself as available, you know. Um, but I feel like this is you soaring like the wind, Sagittarius. Definitely. Now, this is the second time that we've got the Six of Swords. So, I definitely feel like you're, you're moving into this calmness. You're finding this place that is taking you out of your comfort zone, but you feel right at home. I, I have that feeling that you feel right at home. Even though you're out of your comfort zone, you may have to literally move to a different destination, but you're feeling very comfortable. You're feeling very focused. Um, hmm. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Okay. I feel like you're releasing yourself from this box that you had put yourself in. I feel like you're, you're, you're no longer holding yourself back. Queen of Wands, definitely. You're finding your fire. You're finding your spark in the situation. And I'm sorry for that crumbling in the background. My kitten has found a bag and he's being really bad. Like I was saying, Sagittarius. This Queen of Wands. Now this is the second time we've seen this Queen of Wands. <clears throat> so, I feel like there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion coming your way. This may be something that's very unexpected. You may meet this person very unexpectedly. I feel like they're coming by surprise. But I feel like this Queen of Wands energy is coming to kind of bring that spark back into your life. Bring that excitement. Um, it may be a friend that you're dealing with. And that is kind of taking you out on the town, making you feel excited and welcomed. Uh, but I really feel like if this is a love interest, this this Queen of Wands is coming in to uh, boost your confidence. Bring that fire, that fun, that playfulness back into your life. You know, I feel like she's totally aware of her surroundings. And she's following her intuition in a way that is making her feel totally alive. Totally exhilarated with excitement. We also have the Hierophant. So I feel like you're, you're searching for this awareness with the Hierophant. And I feel like you're going in this direction that is kind of... Someone is teaching you how to be happy, how to be creative, how to really live in the excitement. How to just have fun, you know? I, I feel like this Hierophant, he's sitting in between these two pillars of obedience and disobedience, but the Hierophant wants to do the right thing. They want to choose the right path. You know, he's also a teacher. He's also a spiritual leader. So I feel like this could be you also gaining your spirituality in this path, on along your path. Um, the Hierophant can also be conforming to society, you know, going along with tradition. Um, so this may be very significant for you as well. Let's see, what other messages do we have for Sagittarius? <laughs> Beautiful. You're finding your contentment. You're becoming more happy. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Nine of Cups. The, this is happiness in motion. You know? And I feel like this is bringing so much clarity. So much. You feel kind of activated. You know? Like you're, you're ready to move. You're ready to go. You're just moving with the flow of things. The, the Knight of Swords, this can also be active communication coming forward for you. Some, some kind of information that you've been waiting for. But I feel like, you know, if you were separated from a person, I feel like you were separated for a reason so that you could go on this new journey 
of awareness. Uh, I feel like you're able, finally able to find yourself. You're finally able to focus on what makes you happy. And it's bringing you a lot of happiness. I feel like you're, you're in this need of celebration. Of, you know, finding what makes Sagittarius happy, stable. And I feel like if you're single at the moment, Sagittarius, I feel like you're, you're doing it well. I feel like you are very independent. You're actively traveling. You're, you know, really focused on what's making you happy. What's making you feel alive. So that's beautiful energy. Now, if, if this Queen of Wands energy is what's coming through for you, um, for a new relationship, I feel like you're very open to this. But I feel like, you know, there may be some kind of delay to this situation <clears throat> because I feel like your focus isn't really on love right now I feel like your focus is totally on yourself and finding where it is that you belong I'm going to go ahead and take some love cards though to see uh, where exactly you are in the situation yeah this situation had to end for you to find yourself. We have the Grim Reaper. So there was a relationship that had to end for you to become aware and find yourself. You know, I, I feel like you're breaking out of that box and you're finally experiencing something for the very first time. Definitely receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So I definitely feel like you're moving on. You're finding exactly what you need in the situation. At the bottom we have the healing heart. So like I like I was feeling, you know, you you have the recovery, Sagittarius, healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction. So I definitely feel like your recovery is right here. Um you have your focus. You have what makes you happy. And I feel like this separation, although it was painful, and although it probably brought you heartbreak, um, I feel like you're happy. You're grounded. Yeah. You're happy. This was some kind of miracle in disguise. You, you're finally able to focus on yourself and even though it's bittersweet even though something had to end for you to find this information find out this clarity I feel like it's something that was actually needed <clears throat> something that brought you a lot of passion you know it's bringing you passion because I feel like I feel like the relationship that you were in just didn't bring you balance. It didn't bring you happiness. It it was I, I feel like there was too many illusions. There was too many lies. There was too many things left untold. So I, I do feel like uh, the situation that you're in now is a much better situation. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to get some more clarity for you. Let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? For February in love. What do we have for Sagittarius? Power and intention. Yeah. I feel like you, you're you gaining your power. You're finding what is very important for you Sagittarius and I feel like you're finally able to focus on yourself and find out what exactly you want to do where you exactly want to go and how you want to go about things I feel like you're very grounded we have honesty and communication so I, I really feel like you need to have an honest conversation with yourself um, on where you see yourself at where you see yourself going we have strength and guidance 
So spirit wants to let you know that you're being spiritually guided. You, you have the strength that you need to push forward through this situation. We have blessings and abundance. So I feel like great blessings are coming to you. Um, I feel like you'll be, be flowing through this situation with ease and grace. You have your full recovery. You have, you know, everything that you need to get past this situation. Um, but I feel like Sagittarius this is a blessing in disguise. Uh, this separation is bringing so much to light. You're finding so much clarity in the situation. Maybe why it ended. Maybe why uh, you had to progress through it. Uh, but I feel like you, you're, you're gaining more answers now than you did before with this person that's what I'm feeling um, Sagittarius uh, this is your reading so if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your Sun Moon and Rising for more clarity I'll have all of them uploaded within uh, by tomorrow so uh, take a look at your Sun Moon and Rising for more messages and Sagittarius, until your next reading, many blessings to you on your journey. Love and light.